Good morning. Um, isn't this a funny card? My um, when I worked at Cheryl from Tortilla Flats, the owner, she's she died, or she's resting right now. Her um, just her flesh dot is deceased. She's resting in God's memory. Anyway, she gave me this card. She wrote something really nice. Okay, I'm going to read something that my um, mother wrote me. Okay. But my boss wrote me. See, look at her writing. This is my boss's writing. This isn't... I'm not... This is all beautiful. Okay. See her writing? I can read it. Dear Gloria, thank you so much for all your help and support over the past year. That's when I... Because I would go back and forth. Um, okay, you add a great and wonderful presence to our restaurant. Everyone loves you. You are special, special being. Oh, this card reminded me of you. Oh, boy, Cheryl. That's, isn't that cute? She was my sister. Okay, not fleshly sister. But we, I got really close to her. I always admired her from afar. But I worked for her since I was like 19 to 40. Okay, off and on. Because she let me leave when, because I wor I was a waitress when I was pregnant with all three of my um, older kids. They're in their 30s now. But um, right now, Pete, yeah, she's died. Zelina owns it now, and I hope it's doing well. I pray for her. She is a, she is a beautiful soul, Zelina. I'm glad she got it. Um, and a lot of people love her, too. And she has money. So her parents have money. Listen to this. Okay, this is what my mom wrote me. Oh, here's a picture of my mom. See that? Oh. That she, it was, I think, at Kmart or something. <laughs> she wore a little bit of makeup. Because she would get dressed up. That lipstick she normally wouldn't wear. She'd wear, normally wear, like, pink. She had more makeup than, because they would put makeup on you. It was, um, she brought my daughter, too with her and it, oh they're such cute pictures but um that's how yeah she normally wouldn't wear that much makeup but that's she's a grandma she was probably like 58 like i am now okay and she she sported the gray <laughs> isn't that cute okay you might not think it's cute i think it's beautiful because i love her when you love something or someone they're always beautiful to you even when they're deceased and even my landlord told me that. She said her mom, because my mom, when she died, she looked, oh my God, beautiful. It's because they have peace. Okay. Okay. Listen to this. This is what my mom wrote, wrote me. It says to Gloria. It says, no baby is born bored or depressed. Okay. Look, look, she printed this out. So I, some words I can't. Okay. Yeah, so no baby is born bored or depressed. They are full of wonder and awe. They breathe deeply, relax completely, radiate energy, and sparkle with the light of life in their eyes. They are closer to their natural state and more connected to it with, okay, this is where I, Clear conda conduit conda. I don't. It's C O N D U I T. My mom wasn't. I don't know if she's saying conduct. No, it says conduit, and I gotta look that up because I don't even know what that means. To their wisdom, in, intelligent, and energies that I'm reading her note. I was tripping on that word conduit. Okay. The wisdom and intelligence and energies that correlate up their source, the wisdom of the body. People who watched Charlie Chaplin's comedy had if the uh, what? People, listen to this. People who watched Charlie Chaplin's comedy had their skin welts shrink. If mother and baby don't bond, then there is a lake of what? 
of appropriate hormones which leave a child open to substance use in later life as the system attempts oh, see I never oh my god I haven't read this in a long time Oh, a child open to substance use in later life as the system attempts to right itself. Breastfeeding is called liquid love. Huh. Isn't that interesting? It's a Dr. Mancola report. 1104. This is what before she died. She um, wrote this to me. Okay. And I thought it was something totally, because I never, I loved the part one. I actually, I don't understand part two. So I have to look this up, Dr. Mancola. I just read the, the last sentence and I read the first um, paragraph. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's interesting. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um. Because a lot of mothers, uh, my mom was a very imperfect mother, but um, she had a lot. She loved. She always loved children. She loved dolls like I did. I was. I'm a lot like my mom. I practiced with my dolls. That's how I learned how to dress babies and stuff. You have. To, you do have to dress them correctly. You can. You know, hurt. You can hurt them. Twist, twist their arm or something. Um. And people need to be taught correctly. Breastfeeding can be, but if you're not eating correct food. Anyways, I'm going to go. I'm just keeping this light and just wanted to share. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.